hi there and welcome to my latest video I'm just gonna do a little bit of a sales update video I haven't done one of these for a few weeks so I'm gonna just run you through um, a few of the items that I've picked up at boot fairs and charity shops etc and have flipped on eBay for a decent profit um, and we're gonna begin with something that I talk about quite often in my videos and that is these kids uh, WWE slash WWF or WWE wrestling belts um, this one's made by Mattel and is the world heavyweight champions belt from the year 2010 and it is um, I picked this up I would not have, would not have paid more than two or three pounds absolute tops really I think the most I've ever paid is about 250 or three quid tops at a boot fair so I wouldn't have paid any more than that and that has gone for 21 pounds 19 pence and um, it's also going abroad so the buyer has paid global shipping charges on top of that so um, I'm ho hoping they're going to be really happy with their purchase so that's the first item next item that I have actually gotten rid of is the Microsoft Xbox 360 lips game um, along with two microphones um, I think I paid I think I paid five pounds I'm not sure I may have paid less but I think it was five pounds so um, an okay sell there for selling for 19 pounds and um, seven pence so pretty happy with that as well so good easy flip there um, Microsoft bundles are always good especially because like the guitars and their microphones they, they don't need any dongles or anything like that so you can buy them without much worry now next item is quite a one that's been sat for quite a while actually I've had it on my shop for a good few months and it may just be because we're starting to come into the fourth quarter that it's picked up but um that these items are going to sell more but I've always liked selling action figures they do sell but they've been quite slow recently so I'm hoping things are going to pick up but this is the Iron Man Mark II figure from Hasbro 2008 from the um, you know from the movie and um, it's a pretty nice figure it was in very played with condition I always mention the condition for figures because some people want to display them so I always make sure I mention that if they're played with and if they've got a few bit of wear or anything or if they've got a particularly loose like um limb like an arm and leg that isn't as as um nicely uh, controlled as it used to be I always mention that but anyway I would have picked this up for 50 pence or a pound maybe at most and that's gone for 12.71 um, by the way this is all with free postage so bear that in mind I always um, which is about two pound 80 so next item now this is um, a bit of a bolo as people say um, I picked up these Series 3 Lego Mixels from my local Tesco um, for a pound fifty a packet. So I sat there and I went through like uh, the whole, you know, the whole display, putting together complete sets of Series 3, and I managed to um, I pick up three or four in total. I think it was, and I've just sold one here as you can see for thirty seven ninety nine. So that's a really good flip. So it cost me thirteen pounds fifty. Um, to buy that and it's gone for 37.99 so I'm very happy with that next item it's um, the last of my nerf gun stuff I didn't really get into nerf guns until quite late on in the boot fair season and I'm a little bit gutted that I waited that long it was not something that really I, I had looked into um, but I see a lot of nerf guns and I will from next summer definitely be going in for them um, because they've been pretty successful uh, this was the last of the ones I had it was just a little random job lot of three guns there um, no ammo with them or anything like that but I would have paid I think about five quid for those tops total and that's gone for 21.19 so again with free shipping so pretty happy with that now next item um, this is a a uh, figure that I picked up in an auction job lot. I bought a bunch of wrestling stuff from auction and it worked out really well for me. Uh, it came with some new wrestling belts and some figures. Um, some, uh, one of the figures I've sold on Amazon FBA and the the belts are there as well but anyway I had this up for 31.79 for quite a while I actually accepted quite a low offer I accepted 20 pounds for this um, but I was happy because I'm, I'm already in profit on the job lot that, that I bought from auction so 20 pounds it's a new inbox figure uh, Seth Rollins so uh, that's a pretty cool sell as well 
next sale. This is a nice one. I picked this up just last week. It's a uh, Puffin Classic Audiobooks on 36 CDs collection tin. Um, bought this for I think it was £3 and I accepted an offer of £20 on it. Again with free postage. Very happy. Nice quick easy sale. Um, you know, in and out and I, I was more than pleased with that. Next up is another similar sale, quickly uh, bought it last Sunday, sold a couple of days later, uh, Sony Walkman CD player DEJ011, paid £2 for this and flipped it for 30 with free postage. Really quick and easy sale, easy to test these are, and um, when you're picking these up just have a quick look in the battery compartment, now even if the battery compartment is full of gunk, the chances are you can get it working with a little bit of bicarbonate of soda when you get it home, so you can, if anything, use that in your um, in your bartering so for example if a guy's asking three pounds for their walkman and you open it up and say oh look it's all gunked up i'll give you two for it or I'll give you a pound for it they'll probably accept that because obviously if it's all gunked up there's a chance that the battery contacts could be corroded beyond repair so you were taking a bit of a risk but it's worth noting um in this case the battery compartment was fine anyway they just wanted rid of it they didn't value it they just wanted two pounds i paid them two pounds and sold it for 30 very quickly as well Next sale is something again that I've been sat on for a long time. I bought this at the beginning of boot fair season, really. I think it was about April time or May time, and um, I paid five pounds for these um, new in box uh, Columbia Bugger Zip snow boots. So it's a bit of an odd time to be buying snow boots, but Columbia is a quality brand. Uh, they're really up there with their hiking and that kind of footwear as well. So it's a good brand to look out for. They're really good quality shoes. Um, in the end I accepted an offer of £35 and these went to the GSP Global Shipping Programme so from £5 to £35. It did take a few months, uh, about five months to sell uh, but still you know, it was a good sell for me and I was very happy and I, I would definitely take that again. Next up is an item that I've held on for about a month or two, not long, and not a lot of money in it. I think I paid £2 for this, which is fantastic. Um, and it's something, again, that I've not really looked into before, but this is a Maytag Handy Chiller. Now, this is the Carling edition, but they do do a regular edition as well without the Carling branding on the side. And it's basically a device to quickly chill your cans of drink and your bottles of wine as well. So bought it for £2, sold it for 42 30 with uh, free shipping. Fantastic, can't go wrong. Um, getting near the end now, but this is a really nice little flip as well. This is the Banksy uh, Hustler 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. Um, bought it for a pound. I only buy sealed puzzles simply because I know I would never bother to look through and count a thousand piece puzzle if it was opened because obviously you'd have to check it you can't resell it um, without checking it so I only deal with sealed puzzles which there are plenty at the boot fairs paid a pound for this and this went for a tenner with free shipping so you know nice easy sell nothing amazing after you take away the three odd pound postage and fees so but still it's an easy sell now finally um, I'm hoping I didn't let this go too cheap. I may have done because I got really nice positive feedback and um, I was told it was a bargain price. Um, so the guy bought, that bought it is very happy. I paid 50 pence for these Pokemon action flips. Um, they were sealed in a box. Well, not sealed. The box was a bit tatty. I didn't actually know what it was, but I saw it was Pokemon. I had a quick peek and I saw these sealed packets and the lady just wanted 50 pence. So I obliged. I was like, yeah, of course, for 50p, can't go wrong. Um, I didn't really see any selling in the UK on eBay before. Um, seen some sell in like Australia. So I just stuck them up at like 31.79. It, it was actually 30 pounds but I recently did like a 6% price rise so it was up at 31.79 I was offered £30 for them and I was happy to take £30 because like I said I'd pay 50p so good profit for me and hopefully whoever has bought them will make good money out of them as well so they're sealed um, action flips uh, lenticular action collectibles from Pokemon so that was a, my final sell so pretty happy with all of that I've got to say um, it's um, been a decent those are like some decent sales i have obviously had more sales than that um but those were my more interesting ones that i picked up recently hopefully we are all going to start to see a nice spike in in activity and business as we move into october through to christmas um so i wish everyone watching this good luck um get your stock in uh, you know get everything going 
be ready and hopefully we'll all have a good year anyway guys thank you for watching my sales video hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions about the items that you've seen or any questions in general please leave them in the comment section and i will get back to you um, and i will catch you guys next time thanks